We just finished our what? Our summer semester? D1. We're one fourth D- dentist. We are one fourth dentist. Checked now. off. Back to my channel my name is jade you're here with getting dental with it today we will be talking about our study habits and running through the fall and the spring semester calendar i have a special guest this is gabby she's going to tell us her name even though i just told you where she went to undergrad a fun fact and why dentistry okay so hi guys i'm gabby um, i went to undergrad at savannah state university in georgia i uh, did a post back at university of toronto um Canada. I'm from Canada <laughs> and why I went into dentistry uh, my mouth was like really messed up when I was younger and when I went to the dentist for like the first time in Canada um, there there was a dentist that kind of just like took us in and he kind of broke everything down it was super super helpful super super informative and it just made me feel really comfortable and I was like oh my god this is what I want to do for the rest of my life so yeah yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. So how did you take notes in histology? How did you study for histology? For history, they gave us like a 10 case textbook that's on vital source and they said, okay, it's the first 10 chapters that we have to read and know. I was like, wow, I've done one chapter and there's no way. So I kind of buckled down, read the whole 10 chapters. I don't really like reading, so it was a lot for me. <laughs> um, but I thought that there were a lot of questions on the final that I remember reading in the textbook that were said in one of our professor's PowerPoints that wasn't really explained in depth. I'm not fully <coughs> confessing what has or has not occurred. I think reading 10 Ks could be a difference between a B and an A. But nevertheless, the PowerPoints were very informative. So taking notes for histo, the first <laughs> semester I had my really old iPad. So I would draw on it, like they would tell you different structures in the lecture. So I would just circle it on there. So I'd be like, okay, this title says what it is. Circle it so I can remember what I'm looking for in this slide. So I would do that. Um, so it definitely comes up in like the lab exams. Mm -hmm. Like they won't necessarily like give you like a PowerPoint with all of the information that they've talked about that you have to know for the lab, but they will during each lecture give you a picture that has like the histological whatever on it mm -hmm. and it, it's really important to circle those <laughs> well that's how we take notes how do you study for okay, so first way through the semester i had like a mac and i was typing on my mac and i was like yeah this is gonna be great i'm such a fast typer <laughs> and then i realized that like i was not really retaining the information so it's kind of like wasting my time in class because mm -hmm. i've always heard just like so i invested in getting a tablet where I like actually wrote all my notes out and I felt like that kind of helped me like correlate what I was learning in class to what I was retaining after the fact. Mm -hmm. So a part, of, a part of me studying was me going over the lecture before class and then making sure that I'm taking notes and writing my notes during class so I'm not wasting my time just sitting in a class that I'm not paying attention in. So I'll add on to that. I think that for every class, you should look over your notes or look over what Try. the lecture is about. <laughs> like, even if you're just skimming through it and reading yeah. the titles, like, at least it's in your brain mm -hmm. the first time. Like, the first time you're hearing it isn't during a lecture, but before the lecture. Yeah. And there are some classes where you need to do that or you will be lost and you'll ask way too many questions during class. And then there's other classes where we may not even get the PowerPoint, like, mm -hmm. before the class happens, so you can't really do anything. I mean, you could look in the syllabus and look at the objectives wow good job air conditioner good job ac mm, right on <laughs> like let's say you have a class that you don't have the powerpoint for when you're in class take notes like that's your first time obviously seeing the powerpoint but then after class the same day make sure that you go over it someone told me that and i did not really i was like oh yeah yeah whatever and then i actually started doing it um in the spring semester because of the amount of class load that we had and i was like wow this <laughs> makes a difference <laughs> I wasn't wasting my time, I was actually being productive, and then when I went back to like review everything for the exam, things were coming back to me a lot faster because not only was I seeing it more than once, writing it down more than once, but hearing it also like helps you remember. Mm -hmm. so, the sure. more times you see it, the more it's gonna stick. Okay, histology, boom. <laughs> Next is intro to clinical dentistry. Oh yeah. So taking notes for it, we really didn't meet to, to do class, like it was all on Blackboard. Yeah. 
So you just open up a PowerPoint, read. I like that class because it was informative and it also blends with other classes too, especially that soap thing when you have to break it down. Oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Biochemistry. <sighs> Woo! Hit that. Yeah, no. <laughs> nope. Okay. Not, not for biochem, not for well, biochem. Mm -hmm. But we had like a, a thing, well he had a thing that you would record it and video and be on the screen and we would have to copy it because he wouldn't give us any copies. Biochem is definitely a class that you have to like, and don't just do like the surface of, like you always have to dig deeper with Biochem. It's always a deeper thing. He definitely appreciates the deeper of the digging. <laughs> I tried to always do like each PowerPoint in one sitting. Like let's say we had a 60 page PowerPoint. There was so much information on like 10 pages that I have to do it in like six sittings. So I'd yeah. do the first 10. So I'd be like focus, get everything done. Then I have to like take a break and then come back and do another 10. Mm -hmm. Cause it was just, if I sat there the whole time, by the time I got to page like 30, I'd be checked out, like mentally checked out. It's so, a lot. Yeah. It's a lot but of information. That guy, I forget what his name is. So on, with an um, S? YouTube, on YouTube. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Professor. And we're so lucky in this day and age to be in dentistry where YouTube yeah. videos are like that, where you can find videos like that to break it down. Thank you, Jesus. Don't forget about YouTube. You. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're better for, you know, like you want to laugh or something. I'm just kidding. But seriously, like there's a lot of good videos yeah. on YouTube for sure. Definitely. Bar, okay, I'm taking notes, review before class, studying YouTube videos and repetition. And you have to break it down because it's a lot of information. Okay, anatomy. Okay, you can start. <clears throat> it depends on the professor that is teaching, in my opinion, okay? <laughs> because some professors have pictures because they, they everything is in here for them, right? So they can just look at the picture and be like, okay, this is this structure, this is here, this is what goes through this, this is what goes through this. Well, we're just sitting there looking at a picture of a school and going, hmm. Okay, so basically when there were just pictures I knew, this is the day that I will type my entire life away. So I would turn, I would take the PowerPoint or whatever. Where are you going? This is your best friend. Oh, why do you have <laughs> that? This is your best friend. Oh, it's just sitting your boards. Okay. This is your best friend. Like all of these, this isn't even from boards. This is from during class. This is your I'm best crying. friend. I'm crying. Never. <laughs> Oh and my God. the flashcards. Okay, so I had the on um, the digital ones. Oh yeah, you can get the digital. I like hard copy. Like I'm a hard copy kind of gal. But for um, oh for lecture, this and like wow. if you go on Amazon and do the Netters, Netters Anatomy flashcards, they are so helpful. And you can just be like going through them during lunch or whatever. This is yeah. Girl, I think this some is people, my best friend. Some people that did their masters, they also have this book. Yeah. Or no, they have the um. The dissector. This book Bring is it. This book is life. Have an extra one. Yeah, no. Yeah. Here you go. Life. <laughs> I'm taking boards in December. <laughs> For me, when I'm taking notes in class, if I notice that the PowerPoint had just pictures, I knew that I was gonna type into the note sections, like everything that they were basically saying. And then I could also double check with the book. Sometimes they may make a mistake, so it's also good to double check your information because when it comes on the exam, you can't say, well, you said, because they would say, did you open the book? Yeah. And I hope your reply is yes, because <laughs> <laughs> they are not your final say in information. So that's what I'll do for that. And also, like, if you have a Mac, um, when they gave you PowerPoints in the um, notes section at the bottom of, like, the PowerPoint, yeah. I had pages yeah for mac i had pages and i was missing all of the notes that they had and i was like where are they getting these questions from on the exam make sure you download microsoft powerpoint because that's where your um powerpoints will like or that's where they'll make their powerpoints from mm -hmm. and they definitely and it's not just for gas for a lot of the classes. classes they yeah. have notes in the notes section there's also a, a lab for the gas part right mm -hmm. um, next do not waste your time in lab like, uh, it's very critical. I know that it's like easy because you're supposed to be dissecting um, a cadaver, so it's easy to kind of like manage and have conversations with friends or like people who are in your uh, dissection group, but don't waste your time <laughs> because not only do you have lab and lecture, but you also have all of these other classes that you are gonna be, need to be studying for like after the class time is over. So, um, it's very, very crucial that you make connections from the lecture with lab mm -hmm. while you're in lab. That cuts down your studying time for a lot. For sure, for sure. And um, it's 
easier to remember. Like for me, I'm a very visual learner. Mm-hmm. So when I learn something in lecture and then I come to lab, I'm like, oh, this is what they're talking about. Landmarks are crucial. But they'll turn <laughs> things around so that you're not yeah. looking at it in the same way that you were and you need to identify You it. have to know like, okay, we're like, for example, we're at C6 level. So we have to know like at C6, <laughs> there's gonna be- Flashbacks. <laughs> it's the cricoid, right? Yeah, you have to know where you're at and all that stuff. So make sure that if you hear them relay like a landmark, like um, where like the carotid bifurcates. So you don't have to, but I <laughs> she, You don't have to, You don't have to, but I would <laughs> invest in like an iPad or like a tablet or something like that, especially for gas. Cause for me, it was life changing. Like I could, like Jade was saying, when they give you like a picture, sometimes they'll be labeling like a nerve in this big picture and you're like, okay, how are you supposed to write that when you have like a Mac or when you have another laptop? When I was able to circle it yeah. and like highlight it I would and like write down too. the side, it, yes, like the, it's very like beneficial to studying. Mm-hmm. Um, it cut, for me, it cut down a lot of like the searching through the textbook. To yeah. Out, okay. I know they said this somewhere, but I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. So. Don't have to though. Yeah, not- you don't have to, but it made things ten times easier, yeah. especially when you're quick with it because you get used to like drawing things mm-hmm. and stuff. I would just be like, mm, he said, "This is where this is color right. code. It. Take a note in that color code, then yeah. do a different color." You know what I'm saying? Like it was so much easier to study for, for sure. sure, for sure. Oh my god, for sure. Yeah. But you don't really take notes in lab. You follow the dissector and the flow of how you're supposed to be dissecting. They tell you, "Oh, you need to be up to this." part of the dissector mm-hmm. you need to be having this done by this week just pace yourself because at first it's going to be weird like trying to dissect because if you haven't done it before it's really weird um, and you want to make sure you're not damaging any of the oh yeah parts of the body so <laughs> you have to keep pace but taking notes i don't think you really take notes no but it's definitely like like we can say repetition like if you look at something once, look at it 10 more times and then feel comfortable going to the exam. And then how do you study is basically repetition. And then you can quiz each other on stuff, but also don't rely on everybody to think that they know everything because you have to take responsibility for yourself and learn it and use that dissector to like, or the netters to really confirm what you know too. Um, but don't rely on everybody in class to teach you or to be there because one it hinders them and their study And yes, they're also Re-emphasizing or learning more by teaching you but you also have to remember their students too and they're just trying to learn and um, you know Yeah, for lecture. I don't <laughs> think I like did anything more than just um, The PowerPoint um, when we got into like the nerves of the trigeminal nerve and all that stuff oh I <laughs> definitely <laughs> used stressed. Oh, Gray's Anatomy. There was like, if there was something that I didn't understand, the Gray's Anatomy book, I read, but I only used that for like the trigeminal stuff, mm-hmm. like the nerves and the maybe some of the pathways, like from the um, the dorsal column and all that stuff. I was a YouTube girl. Spinal, I didn't know what the book and everything else was yeah, saying. I was like, Spinal YouTube, Atlantic. what is this? Send help. Ninja Nerd Science, once again, yeah. sponsor me. Do you know that I watch your videos like ethics and professionalism we didn't really get powerpoints before class so taking notes i feel like the class was more of a discussion type thing and then like a lot of pop quizzes on stuff that we were told that we need to remember from the ada or from the handbook and the yeah. ACD handbook. yeah also make sure you know it the way that you're supposed to know it because i misinterpreted some of those definitions and that's what cost me my grade oh, and yeah. i was really upset about it okay and those will be on the boards Okay, dental anatomy. Let's see, taking notes was different because we had one professor like the first six weeks or something, and then we had the new professor coming after that. So it was something, we had to adjust to their teaching styles. So it was like crazy for us, especially because this class is your foundation for dental school. In my opinion, it is, like mm-hmm. dental anatomy, you know what I'm saying? This is where you're learning how to number your teeth, the different ways you can number your teeth, the anatomical structures on the teeth. I had a really hard time because like I'm a big PowerPoint Read person. the book! <laughs> That's what I yeah. had to do. I ended up actually like getting the hard copy from Chegg, sponsored. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I ended up getting the hard copy and literally like every week, Three times a week, I made like a schedule. I would sit down and read the, the textbook, or read the textbook, or read the textbook. And um, if you get the hard copy at the, at the end, they're like little index cards. And then you can like quiz yourself. And those for me what? were like the best. 
because I felt like I was just like eating lunch. <laughs> you know, like I felt this like- This is what it takes to be a dentist. A lot of, <laughs> and a lot of like the stuff that- Eat, um, sleep, breathe. They didn't talk about in- The PowerPoint? In, like, not even in the PowerPoint, but like in the textbook, like yeah, they brushed on it, but it was like highlighted, like the contact points or contact mm. areas were like defined in the little cue cards that were at the back, and those are like heavy for both the boards and for test questions. Uh. Um, and then, you guys, YouTube. Oh, There's this one board, so NBDE one guy boards, and he like literally breaks down everything. He starts from like, like, Someone who didn't even know that we had teeth can learn from him. That's how good mm -hmm. he is. I, I stand by it. Good for dental anatomy. Making a chart, like, if you were able to, like, put each tooth, like, and, and like, characteristics about each tooth, like, in a chart form, it was easier to study because it was, like, really comparative. Mm -hmm. And that's how you kind of, like, learn, like, okay, the first premolar has a mesial marginal ridge, like, stuff like that. Like, it's really easy to compare and kind of, like, understand the anatomy a little bit better if you make a chart. So I would definitely read the textbook, um, make a chart, but also YouTube videos. So for taking notes for dental anatomy, read beforehand, um, read the book for sure. Drawing on the, the PowerPoints, I did that too. I still color coded on some of the PowerPoints. Cause I was oh, trying yeah. to just make it easy for me to understand what, what was going on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then studying for dental anatomy, book, YouTube videos for sure actually getting teeth like oh yeah, yeah, you yeah type yeah, it yeah. on on amazon oh yeah get the ones um for for the lecture actually learning the anatomy it's better to go to amazon and get like jade will put a link to the one that our class got so definitely go on amazon get one that you can actually see like each individual mm -hmm. like, and the roots yes because when you're first learning you're like how many what yeah. yeah 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 definitely gotta know that and bring your type dot to class mm. when you go to dental yes. anatomy. Okay, yes. we are—we basically are visual learners. Yeah. Why do we not have something in our hand? Bring it with you. Your teachers are gonna expect you to think that. Oh, let me bring it with me. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Anyway, um, I was that one person that brought her type on. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I needed some help in class. Yeah. So I brought it with me. I oh, am that loser. <laughs> we did have um, an exam that was like oral. He gave us a tooth and he was like, what tooth is this? And why is it this tooth? And then which quadrant or which, which yeah. you know? Yeah, that was crazy. So definitely practice with the teeth so you can get used to that. Put so that's for studying. Just like pull it out and be like, oh, I don't know. But this not is. the first time you're learning this. Cause, Ooh, yeah. Because how are you going to get them back in? I don't know. <laughs> so I would suggest arch by arch, right? <laughs> because if you have four canines in your hand <laughs> and you have no idea what the difference is between a mandibular canine and a maxillary canine, you will put the wrong tooth. We have come in a long space. way. Yeah, because I mean, really thinking about that now, it's like, how do you not know? Yeah, no, really. I'm like thinking when you we were prepping teeth, I was like, oh, this is, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yes. but like back then, I remember like I tried to like dump them all out, and then I was like trying to close it after I put them all back in, and it was like not working. Ooh, it came a long way. Yeah, don't let me laugh. Just Man, just laugh. be prepared. I don't know, because we really have pop quizzes like there is yeah. no tomorrow. Um, make sure like like we've been saying, keep up on your PowerPoints for Dental Anatomy Lab. He Tell does me. give <laughs> PowerPoints in lab mm -hmm. um, about like various, it's kind of like an introduction to dental materials, honestly. Oh. Yeah. How do you take notes in Dental Anatomy? Uh, bring your laptop if they, if they have a PowerPoint and take notes or paper, hand, yeah. Hand oh, writing is probably better. Write. I just don't write that fast. Mm -hmm. I don't write that fast. I have to type. I developed my okay. typing skills in undergrad. Type, at least like when you're going back to study, write it out. Because you remember things so much easier when you write it out. I'm not gonna lie, she is right. I did that in the spring semester because we're, we're gonna get there. Um, so that is the fall semester. We're gonna end this video here. If you guys are interested in what the spring semester was like, how to take notes, and how to study for the spring semester, please stay tuned for part two of this video because I'm pretty sure this video is very long. <laughs> yes. Um, thank you, Gabby. So we will see you in the um, next video. Oh, in part two. <laughs> you guys, you have, have a good day. Goodbye. See, or see you later.